Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd The companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam were chosen for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they gave us the best of examples on how we should try to live our life and the, the actions and the creed that we should maintain in the minhaj and methodology of how to practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam narrated on Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma if a man saw a dream during the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he would narrate it to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once I wished to see a dream and narrate it to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I was young unmarried and used to sleep in the mosque during the lifetime of the Prophet I dreamt that two angels took me and went away with me towards the hellfire which looked like a well with the inside walls built up and had two side walls like those of a well there I saw some people in it whom I knew I started crying I seek refuge with Allah from the hellfire. I seek refuge with Allah from the hellfire. Then another angel met the, the other two and said to me, Do not be afraid. I narrated my dream to Hafsa, who in turn narrated, narrated it to the Prophet wasallam. He said, wasallam, What an excellent man Abdullah is, if he only observes the night prayer. Then Salem, the sub-narrator, said, Abdullah used to, uh, used to not sleep at night, but very little after that time. This shows us how the companions of the Prophet wasallam were when it came to following the commandments of, of the Prophet wasallam, with following the advice of the Prophet wasallam, with following the guidance of the Prophet wasallam, and this is how we should be. It was only... He already had glad tidings that he was uh, known for being righteous. And his father was Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. But with, uh, in addition to that, he also, when he heard what the Prophet sallallahu said, that he was an excellent man and that only if he observed the night prayer, he, for the rest of his life, he observed the night prayer. He slept little and he followed the advice of the Prophet sallallahu This is how the companions of the Prophet sallallahu were. But how about those people who came after them who began to speak ill of them? They need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They need, if they want, if they are Muslim, or adhere, you know, consider themselves to be Muslim, then they have to check their iman. If they have anything in their heart, except love for the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. And I ask Allah the Almighty accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be united with the companions of the Prophet ﷺ and the Prophet ﷺ in Jannah to Pardos.